After six months and projects like the world's largest 3D printed mask, is the Anycubic Cobra 2 Max worth it? The Cobra 2 Max promised blaze and fast printing in a huge build area, but has the promise held up over time? I've been pushing this machine daily, and here's my no-nonsense in-depth review. Let's talk about the good. Let's be honest. Speed's the headline feature. Clocking speeds of up to 500 millimeters a second, does it hold up? Well, it held up for my most ambitious project yet, the world's largest 3D printed Mardi Gras mask. It was successful, but not without setbacks and struggles. Let's talk about the cooling. One of my first projects was this huge 300% Flexi Factory T-Rex, and with all the warnings on any cubic slicer about overhang and stability issues, it was not a problem. And now let's talk about some of the common issues I'm having with the Cobra 2 Max. The noise. With great cooling comes powerful fans, and let's be honest, this thing is loud. And here is another big problem I ran into. There's a blue PTFE tube between the extruder and hot end, and it's a weak point. Temperatures exceeding over 235 degrees Celsius, or just bad luck, can warp, melt, or even clog your nozzle, leaving you to basically only using PLA and TPU. And on that note, in any cubic slicer, there is only one preset, and it is for PLA. And now let's talk about my last nemesis, layer shifting. This plagued me from the very first print. I spent countless hours troubleshooting and I still don't know the exact cause for certain. From checking the Z-hop and avoiding perimeters to slowing the speeds to under 200 millimeters a second, I was consistently having this issue with larger prints. This could be because it's a 17 by 17 inch bed slinger that can move filament incredibly fast. However, with great tuning, I managed to minimize these issues and achieve great results. Let's move from the bad and talk about some upgrades. Anycubic has a passionate community. What are some must-have upgrades? Here's what I've changed. I tried reducing the shaking on the printer by attaching these anti-vibration feet I designed that you can find a link for in the description. And here's my verdict. Who is this for? Should a hobbyist invest? Is it good for a small 3D printing business? With the right settings, this could be a great all-arounder 3D printer. It has a huge build volume and with the proper settings, it could perform very fast. Just be prepared to put in some effort for the best results. And here's my final thoughts. Though I encounter challenges, I still recommend this machine if you're looking for a larger build volume. That being said, tech is advancing, and Core XY printers like the Orange Storm Giga by Illigoo will likely be the future of large-scale residential 3D printing. I hope this video helps, and if you have more questions about the Cobra 2 Max, drop them down in the comments below. So I want to take this even further and maybe 3D print another giant mask? What about a giant customizable boat? Let me know and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.